So one of the important things to recognize about the stormwater infrastructure is that stormwater is not necessarily an appropriate name for this infrastructure because it does two things. One of which is stormwater. It does convey stormwater. So when it rains, all the runoff from the sidewalks, from the city streets, from rooftops, all of that goes down storm drains into the stormwater infrastructure, which is designed to then convey that water away from neighborhoods, um, away from businesses, and out to the streams and rivers. And that stormwater is polluted and does not get treated by the stormwater system. But it's also important to recognize that the stormwater system serves another function, which is to convey um, discharge and sources of pollution during dry weather. So as you can see today, this morning, it's not raining. It didn't rain last night here. Um, but behind me, we have a stormwater outfall that's continuously discharging water. And this water is coming from perhaps one or, or multiple sources. Um, it's not stormwater. Rather, it's discharges from other piped infrastructure. It could be a discharge from, from a business. Um, it could be someone cleaning their car at the street and washing it down and that water going down the storm drain. So it's probably a whole mix of different sources of discharge or pollution. And so these sources of pollution that are conveyed by the system, by the stormwater system during dry weather, they could be uh, sources of illicit discharge, types of pollution discharge that are, ought not to be in the system, right? By law, these things like sewage or wastewater, even wash water from, from someone's car are not supposed to be conveyed by the system out to the streams and rivers. So understanding that, you know, not only is the stormwater system a system for the conveyance of stormwater runoff during storms, much of which is polluted with whatever is in the surrounding watershed. So when it rains, that water runoff picks up things like oil spills, um, bacteria from, from pet waste that's been left out and not properly disposed of. Um, it also sometimes contains sewage because there'll be overflows um, during storm events. And then also what we see around us, um, which is lots of trash and debris. And, you know, trash and debris, it's an aesthetic pollutant. You know, it pollutes our sense of beauty and enjoyment of our stream valleys when we see that they're completely littered with um, things like bottles and plastic bags and, and worse. Um, baby diapers, use baby diapers, um, all sorts of things that are littered at street level and then are then washed down the storm drain and out to the stream. Um, but for me as, as a water quality professional, I look at a trash which I find to be visually offensive and certainly the idea of the trash getting washed into our stream systems out into the harbor um, is concerning because those things present a source of pollution and a hazard for wildlife. Things like turtles or fish can consume or be contaminated by these, by these types of trash, especially plastics. But I also look at trash as an indicator, uh, an indicator of the amount of stormwater pollution that we can't see which is to say all the storm water, all the dry weather discharge that comes out of the stormwater system contains a whole cocktail of different pollutants that we can't see with our naked eye. And so we need to use instrumentation, we need to collect samples and have them analyzed by a lab to really get an idea of what's in this cocktail polluted discharge. And what we find is really high levels of bacteria, um, which corresponds to sewage contamination, to mismanagement of pet waste, people not picking up after their pets. But we also find a cocktail that is contains all sorts of different pollutants um, that are toxic to aquatic life and toxic to us. So things like heavy metals, um, pesticides, um, anything that's applied or otherwise exposed to rainwater in our watershed.